Brothers and sisters, um, I'm going to start this message, and it's going to be led by the Holy Spirit, and filled with the Holy Spirit. I went in my prayer closet tonight and prayed to Jesus Christ like I've never prayed before. I mean, I always pray profusely. But today, uh, the father of my kids was with our two sons, and uh, he was taking them to Walmart to do groceries and to get their school shopping done. And... Uh, they were hit almost in a car accident. And what was weird was they were in a, almost in a car accident and it was back to back. Like the first car, they would, um, the father of my kids was going to speed limit. He's a good driver. And a white a car in the front of him came out of nowhere and he almost collided in the back. But I asked the father of my kids what happened. He said that when that happened, he f lost control of the steering wheel. In other words, he said that he watched as the steering wheel turned right to avoid the car. But the father of my kids, he didn't turn, his name is Marcus, he didn't turn the wheel, the steering wheel. Um, it turned by itself. And I asked Jesus Christ, and he said that he saved their lives. Then the second incident was, um, they almost then had a truck hit them, I believe, from the side. I'm sorry, not from the side. Another truck came out in the front, I believe. It was in the front. So... What happened was, was that the father of my kids felt the brakes on our car stop. And he didn't press the brakes, but he felt the brakes stop. And he saw the car in the front, which was supposed to be parked at a red light. I think it was parked at a red light. was pushed forward by itself. And the Lord Jesus Christ told me that he saved their life. I asked the father why did this happen, uh, and I thanked them so much for saving their lives, you know. It's not easy to know that something's trying to murder your family, you know. The Lord told me that the enemy, demons in other words, tried to take my family out. It tried to kill them today. And the reason they tried to kill them today was because they figured if they would if they killed my family that I would curse Jesus Christ and I told the Lord I would never curse him that I love him and I would die for him I would I've given up a lot for the Lord I would even give up my own family for Jesus Jesus Christ says if you're not willing to give up your own family for him or if you love your family and the world more than him that you're not worthy of him amen and they tried to take them out, but Jesus saved their life. So, I'm under heavy demonic attack, and from what the Lord told me, He's used me in a mighty way. And this is praise to Jesus, not to me, it's nothing to me. It's all God's doing, not by my hand, not by my own strength. The Lord told me that the deliverances He used me to do souls that were freed, the preaching of the gospel I do on Facebook that led people to Christ, the watching of my videos led people to Christ, the warning of false prophets, like, like the warnings that I did, one of the main reasons that a false prophet by the name of Rachel Sharif, um, was removed from YouTube. The Lord had, the Lord did that, and the Lord told me He's removing the false prophets one by one. Um, so I'm under heavy demonic attack. 
the other night when I was asleep I heard my son moaning in pain and uh, I have to explain something to you guys demons can curse objects demons can also curse people draw curses on them Symb occultic symbol symbolisms that represent them so for example the Kundalini spirit is very common for drawing the third eye on its victim. It's like a binding spell. And it's a binding spell that solidifies their presence in the host. That confirms its legal rights there. I'll get into curses in another video. Subsequent video to this. Anyway. Um. They started drawing curses on my son, and my son is righteous by the Lord's eyes. So therefore, this was an illegal entry, and it reminds me of the scriptures that says, uh, when a strong man breaks into a strong man's house, in other words, when a demon tries to infiltrate a righteous person, that's an illegal entry. Infiltrate meaning try to possess them, or oppress them from the outside, or even the inside. So, they tried to do that to him, and I heard him in, in pain, and I prayed over him, and the curses stopped. Satan doesn't like what I'm doing. Not that what I'm doing, because it's not by my hand. It's by Jesus Christ's hand. I guess the point that I'm trying to make to you is that... You... If you haven't done so... Give your life to Jesus, and the Lord can use you in a mighty way. Because I believe that everybody has a purpose and a calling. Okay? Everybody can be a laborer for the kingdom of God. And I believe that the Lord wishes for everyone to come to repentance, that's on the word of God. And I firmly believe that everyone has a calling. And if you let you give yourself totally to Jesus and you choose to let the Father use you, He can use you in a mighty way. Let Him perfect you. Let Him use you as His work. Remember the Lord's the potter and we are the clay. Let the Lord use you to bring souls to Christ. I'm not going to tell you that the enemy is not going to try to attack you because the enemy will try to attack you but if you know and you have faith like a bold like a like faith enough that can move mountains even planets and you know that Jesus Christ got your back like David do, David knew when he went to face the four giants he knew that the Lord was going to use him that it was the Lord's strength the Lord's power not David's and David knew he had nothing to worry about that's why he trusted God so much and still does. He knew that God was going to deliver the Philistines to him. And God did. You got to have that kind of faith. Just know that no matter what the enemy tries to throw at you, the Lord Jesus Christ will always have your back. Alright? He will always have you back. My plight, my situation is not easy. I'm under constant attack by demons. But it's okay because I trust the Father. The Father knows um, what's going on what's going through my head the father knows um, what's in your heart ladies and gentlemen
think about this and have a good night.